Representatives from more than 70 countries and international organizations are meeting here to discuss ways to ensure food safety. It is the second annual conference for the Global Food Safety Partnership. Members will evaluate the partnership's first-year achievements as well as discuss future plans to scale up and shape the world's response to food safety challenges. The international community faces the critical task of strengthening food safety capacity to safeguard public health while promoting food security and economic development. And joining me in studio, Jeff Smith from the International Life Sciences Institute, Southeast Asia. Jeff, thanks for joining us. Now, a little bit background for our viewers here. Now, yours is a global non-profit organization that focuses on improving public health uh, through nutrition and food safety. Now, how is that related, complemented, or different from food security? The food security, of course, uh, is, is critical. We see more and more activities are trying to address food security. Food safety is a part of that. So if you have food delivered to you uh, that's not safe, you haven't really accomplished a purpose, right? We all care about food. We're eating food every day. So we, we want to have that supply delivery and the sustainable supply line, but it has to be safe. Now, talking about supply lines, then you probably work with a lot of stakeholders, right? You don't stand alone. Tell us who you work with and how. Yes. Uh, so ILSI is a scientific organization, a nonprofit global organization. We have branches all around the world. Um, I'm the president for the branch in Singapore covering the ASEAN countries, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, so we work with uh, governments, uh, for example, ABA in, in Singapore. Uh, we work with the Health Motion Board on nutrition matters, um, with the NEA um, uh, closely. We work with their counterparts in the other countries in the region. Uh, and we also bring in scientists from industry and academia in this kind of tripartite approach so that we get all the best science uh, together and the practical implementation um, to really address these problems in a successful way. Now, Singapore imports pretty much all its food, right? What are some key uh, concerns we should look out for? Yes, well, I live in Singapore. I have for 19 years, so I want to make sure the food is safe. We are very lucky in Singapore. Um, the AVA does a fantastic job in, in uh, trying to check um, and making sure that the food supply is safe. But it's a difficult problem because, as you said, we import all of our food from many sources. Um, it is increasingly difficult. The more sources, the more uh, diversity we have of sources, the more difficult it is to be sure that uh, you are have safe food coming in from all these sources. So that's the reason for this establishment of this global food safety program. Um, this is trying to tie together the whole world to make sure that all those supply sources are meeting a kind of common standard. So building up, even, even within our region, we have to make sure that some of our uh, neighbors who are in an earlier stage of development um, have the capabilities to, to, to handle these matters. All right, now advice for the average person who has to take responsibility for his own food safety to, yeah. if you had to give him top three things he should know or look out for, what would it be? Yeah. Well, that, that's not an area that, that we focus on uh, directly. Um, I, I would make a couple of quick points. Um, first of all, I think in Singapore, it's, they distribute information about how to make sure your preparation of food at home is safe. So how to make sure that you're, when you're, after you cut up your chicken, don't cut the fresh vegetables on the same uh, plate. Those kinds of issues, um, uh, those, those are important issues for the home. But I think people should also be aware that there's a, there's a kind of, let's call it an invisible element. So, so if you see food uh, looks bad or, or smells bad, you know something's wrong already unless it's durian or blue cheese, you, then it's still good for you, but, um, but you can't rely on your senses. But there's also an invisible component. There, are, there may be things in there that you cannot see um, that need attention. And there, that's where you need to bring in the science to have that background. And people should be aware that there's a very strong system uh, of science behind all these food systems. So food doesn't come from the supermarket or the wet market. It comes from farms, from, uh, from food uh, manufacturing uh, processing operations. Um, and many checks along the way, but these systems have to be strengthened. So, All but right. but there there are quite good and strong systems in place. So, All right, Jeff, in Singapore, thanks. we have a pretty good uh, setup. All right, Jeff. Thanks for your time. Thanks for sharing. And that Thank was you. Jeff Smith on improving food safety around the world.